Hey guys, new video for you guys today. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the shutter assembly on a Polaroid LAN camera. This is the Polaroid Color Pack 2 that I bought in a lot sale a while back. I actually bought it for another camera, so this was just a, an added bonus. The only problem is when I opened it up, uh, the whole the whole battery compartment inside was uh, corroded. I don't think it'll focus, but inside it was, actually, it was actually way worse than it looks now. But I managed to clean it up. But I was still having some issues. So I took apart the whole shutter assembly to see how it worked and stuff. Because I'm interested in stuff like that. I always take everything apart. It's actually really cool. The way it holds the, sh the chair open, right here you have an, an electronic magnet. And there's this piece right here, a little there's a little uh, a metal part here if you if it wants a, a longer shutter well it will keep adding power to a magnet so it holds this piece open which is the piece that holds the, the bottom of the of the shutter this piece right here it, it, it electrifies, electrifies the magnet and it holds it and then that's what actually holds the the shutter open as you see like right there so, so if it wants a, a, a long shutter, it'll keep the power going to it, so it holds it open, and then it just releases. And right here you have the photo cell, which um, is what determines exposure on these cameras. But if it has light, of course you get a fast shutter. If it has no light, you get a slow shutter, as you see right there. If I put cover it up, it gets a, a slower shutter. Now if you're wondering about the exposure comp knob, it's actually pretty cool. This part right here is actually an ND filter. No here it's just black. So when you go to light in, it c c c covers it up with the this part here, I'm not sure if you can see through it, but it's actually it's an ND filter. And then it gets darker and darker till it's all black. If you want a, a darker picture, you just doesn't have any ND filter on it. So yeah, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. If you ever wonder how these the shutters and the land camera work. Now the good thing is that I actually got it working. Uh, the only thing, the only problem I was having with this one is that there's some some contacts right here for for, for that hook up the, the 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 battery from the from this land camera. This one uses the the double A, I think. Yeah, the double A battery. Set. Instead of that one weird battery that you probably know if you have other, other land cameras, but the problem with this one is that um the, the contacts right here are way too gone and it's not it goes through the power through here onto these two little knobs right here which are right now are taped up because I'm using this, this battery to supply the power. But yeah, all I need is uh, you just need to uh, I'm just gonna. S uh, start the cables to here, and I'll make a hole in the battery compartment to hold in these batteries. Cause uh, this uh, I think it's a CA one two three A battery or something like that. A C one two three A batteries. I'm not even sure the name, but I I prefer these batteries a lot. This is what I use in my one hundred four and in my three thirty. But yeah, it's pretty cute. The only thing I haven't tried is the, is the f uh, that and the flash cube to to see if it goes off. I have some. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and try one. Uh, actually, I just remember running to where I have them. So yes, yeah, so I so when I find them, I'm gonna put a flash to see if it tries out. But yeah, that's basically how a land camera works. This is the the color pack kind. Right here, this button which goes right here goes to shutter. I'm using a a light for this video, so that's why I'm doing flash shutters. But if I cover up the photo cell, should be slow. Ah, uh, it's actually it's not going so probably happened is that the the contacts came out of place so yeah you see it now it's using slicker if I just keep my finger on it it will just keep it open so yeah thanks for watching the videos any questions or comments about polar cameras just go ahead and ask thanks